Okay, Wayne D. Francesco here. I'm going to take a look at Ernie L's. Some of these camera angles aren't exactly the same, but uh, I'm taking that into consideration and trying to comment the best I can. Uh, whatever the case, it's always interesting to watch, so hope you'll visit my website, take a look at some of the other videos, and pretty soon the instructional videos. So, I played in the 99 PGA at Medina, and this is a, a film of Ernie warming up, or actually just practicing there. And uh, I think this is at Bay Hill this year, where he played nicely. So let's take a look. You'll notice that the setup is a bit different. So these swings are 10 years apart or so. The uh, little more in the heels on the left over here. And a little more out over the ball. It's a little more knee flex on the right. Now everybody thinks Ernie's got such a slow swing. It, it really isn't. Uh, the tempo is, is medium paced to even fast. It just looks fairly easy because it's very rhythmical and he's so big that he never looks like he has to swing very hard at it. But it's pretty dynamic. So if you watch these swings at regular speed, there's no way that it's slow. Now that it's a little bit, it's a little shorter, now it appears to be a little quicker. All right, so if you look at some of the interesting things about his swing that have stayed pretty much the same. I think the major difference in, in all tour players, whenever they work on their swings to any degree, usually what they can change is the backswing. Uh, the transition changes a little bit because of the different top position. And then the release pattern is almost always the same. So what's interesting with, with Ernie, and this runs through all of the swings that I have of him, is as he approaches the top of the swing, both knees will bend forward. So you'll see the you'll see the right knee, which is pulled back slightly, will will go forward. And momentarily the weight will shift toward the front of both feet. Now as that happens, you'll see the right hip move away from the line and seemingly like out of the box. And as that happens, a couple other things happen. His arms fall in, but with that movement, they won't be able to reach the original shaft plane. They'll come in above it. Now, the thing that he's always done well is he really controls the shaft extremely well. So the shaft is almost never underneath him. You can see that looks pretty good there. But the hands always come in a little bit high. And when they come in high, you're going to see more hand rotation through the ball. So you see the face really turned down quickly there. So in that position, the face is already that way. Now, it's not necessarily a flippy release, though. He hits the ball great. It's just that it turns over a little bit quicker than a lot of guys do through the ball. Now, obviously the camera is a little lower here where I like to film from a little better, maybe chest high as opposed to, I think, might have been standing or in the, somewhere above where he was here. But again, as you watch this, you'll note that the leg movement, you can really see the knees flex toward the ball which gets him out from under himself just a bit. Now, when that happens, if you watch his head, you'll see the... Now, he starts about here, so I'll draw another line. So, pretty obvious what I usually talk about in a backswing that I like is, is the sensation of compressing into the ground or, or finding the heaviness against the ground so that you know where you're going to push from to get started in the forward swing. So when you see when you see Ernie, one of the things that 
makes him a little different is how quickly his head will come upward in the forward swing. It'll start coming up when his left arm is getting just below parallel to the ground. And if you watch most of the videos, you'll see that in most guys that usually doesn't happen until the shaft is parallel to the ground when the hands and the grip have to come up. So again, he moves his lower body under him a little bit, stands up, drops his arms to make up for it, and manages not to get the shaft behind him. But then that roll release is, is one of the things that you always see with him, like that. Now, is that hard to manage? Uh, you know, might be a little bit, right? So you can see at impact, the shaft's up there at 51. And if we bring it back to address, it was way down there at 42. So that's called talent and managing the, managing the release of the club very nicely. Now, if we look at a swing from sort of the front, and then one which is right from the front, actually was a better swing to look at. We'll see that as he starts forward, he's got great, great sequence. You see the hips shift out of the box. That's probably four inches or so. And for the iron shot, there's sort of the magic position where the hands get past the ball or just to it when the shaft's parallel to the ground. And that sets up the, the descending blow in the trap. Now you saw how the club turned over real hard before, but here you can see just past the ball what I like to call sustain which is the right wrist remaining bent as the club turns over and that just shows that there's great trail in the club and that the lower body is still driving now right past there that's a little more forearm turnover than most guys and if you watch the head movement you'll see almost no rotation backwards with the head and then in the forward swing, very neutral to slightly tilted this way. So, again, I like that because it's always pointing that away and not back here, which is something that I try to do myself. But I really like that nice forward push, so a lot of lateral in that to get that lag in the downswing. Now one of the things that's, that's also interesting about his swing is that little extra move that he has to set the club to the left at the top, which looks almost like an independent move. So if you watch that club head, sort of squirms off to the left there. Again, that's kind of a lead better thing. This, this swing was molded and built first talent-wise. He was already great, but then you know, lead better put his touches on it. And you'll always see the semi-vertical shaft in the backswing and then the shift, the shift back a la Faldo and Price in the forward swing. So again, it's just an option to get the thing more, more down at the inside the ball. There's the ball in the backswing and then shift it in the forward swing. But interesting swing, great rhythm. I think one of the reasons why he hasn't been quite as consistently great is that his release action is a little bit complex. And his approach, because of the leg movement coming out from under him like that, just causes the hands to have a little tougher job than some of the other swings that we see. But can't argue with his success.